Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, uh, The Dog House. My name's Jessica. We've got Graham over here in the bed, Harvey on the couch over there because uh, the no couch rule didn't last very long. So anyways, today I had something I wanted to try out with one of the dogs. I only bought one of them. Um, so that's what we're gonna look at today. What it is, is a Himalayan dog chew. So what it is, is this like, okay, so yeah, it's like that. I've never even like held one of these in my hand like physically without a wrap, like out of the wrapper. But I wanted to go ahead and try it today for one of the dogs just to do a quick review on, well, a review on it because apparently it's not like, apparently they don't go through very quickly. So the Himalayan dog chew is, it's some kind of like cheese treat. It's a limited ingredient, very digestible, safe chew for your dog. It's really good for clean, uh, supposedly like uh, cleaning their teeth and stuff like that and they can digest it nicely. Let's see, and the ingredients of it is cheese, pastur pasteurized, processed skim milk, salt, lime juice. So, I don't really know, that doesn't sound, I mean cheese is cool, but it's all together with the salt and lime. And apparently what they did is they, it took up until about 2008 for them to actually create this product and they smoke, they make it into this big hard slab, like bigger than this like book. And they cut it in slices and they smoke it for like four months and it, they, they create this. So the cool thing about it is that at the end of it, the dogs are allowed to chew it down and they'll, they come in all different sizes. I got the red, the, like original size, just the red, I call it the regular size. They have a bigger one, they have smaller ones, they have skinnier ones. Anyways, you shouldn't leave your dog alone with a chew anyways, just for safety reasons. Like you wouldn't leave your child with teething right now. I don't know. So anyways, you're supposed to let them chew this down and then like a, like any other chew, once it gets down to be like a small piece, you typically should take it away and you should throw it away. Just cause at that point they do try to swallow it. Some dogs do and it's, a, it's it is that usually like a bully stick or something is digestible. Uh, I don't think you should give a rawhide uh, to any of your animals because that's just a byproduct from the leather company. So don't feed your dogs that. Okay, so I just opened it and it's got a really strong smell to it. It does smell like really smoky, which is crazy. It smells really good. It smells like like the wood chips you would smoke your food with in your grill, actually. Wow, this is awesome. Uh, the price for these varies from size. This one is about, I think you can get them from like eight to $10. It is really hard, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, I'm going to be giving this to Grim because he doesn't get to have a lot of like chews right now because he is on a fish only diet for protein. Um, but he can, this doesn't have any like grains or anything like that, which is also good for your dog to not give them those kind of things. There's no lactose grains and it's gluten free. And so we're going to see how he does with it. It's kind of got like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like texture. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's textured on like the side, on the sides and then really smooth like a bone. And I guess that's where they cut it. So, so that's what it looks like. And we're gonna go ahead and give it to Grim. Let's go find Grim. Come here, lazy dog. Do you wanna try the new chew? Huh? Sit. He's really unsure. The texture is like super, I don't know, not fun. It's really just like a rock. He does like antlers though a lot. So this is probably like super successful for him because it smells really good too. Antlers don't smell like anything. I did go ahead and actually start a timer. This video is obviously not gonna run for that entire time, but I am going to time his uh, chewing of this cause it's supposed to last like three to four times longer than a bully stick. Um, usually Graham takes about, he could probably take up to an hour on a thick, like on a, I think they're like a foot long, thicker type bully stick. There, you know, there's pros and cons for everything. Every dog, you know, every dog's different. They chew differently. The, one of the things I have heard of a review on these a long time ago, which is why I didn't get it a long time ago, I've never used these, is because I have heard 
that they were break, dogs have broken their teeth on them. But that's with any chew, like I said, and your dog, it depends on the dog. Age of the dog, breed of the dog. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll risk it with Grim. I don't think he's gonna break a tooth. I talked about that you're supposed to take it away. It gets down to be a small piece, so there's a reason why you would do that. You do that because apparently you stick it in a bowl of water and then you put it in the microwave and then you give it back to them and it turns into the, cause it turns into like a puff, like a popcorn puff or something. I don't get it. It's not, there's no corn in it, but they, they use the, um, the reference of popcorn. So we'll have to see. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is take it away. Hold up. And we're going to, hold on. It's only been like a few minutes as you can see, or as you've already seen, um, it's still the same size, but he's definitely gnawing down. This is his, I know, I took it away. Gnawing down the edges, breaking off little pieces, but it doesn't seem to be bothering him. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him quite some time on this and see, and then we'll check in on him in just a little while. See you guys in a bit. Guys, we are at about hour, 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. He kind of like just got it. It's barely halfway through. It was about that long. Hour and 20 minutes. So that's cool. He's not breaking any teeth yet. We'll check back in in a little bit. Hopefully not another hour and 20 minutes. Here you go, buddy. It smells good. It smells like, like how my hair smells when, like right after a campfire, which is like my favorite smell. So. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so he's officially been chewing on this thing for two hours and 46 minutes. I think it's actually been a little bit longer because I was late at starting it and also like paused it at some point earlier just because I had to feed everybody and anyway, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it away. It's not, he's not, obviously he didn't eat it because that's the whole other step to the, to this chew. So, all right, Graham, I have to have it now. So you're gonna give it, thank you. We're like this big. I actually like, I think I could let him go a little bit longer, but we really are at like the three hour mark and it's 1.30 in the morning. So anyways, I didn't expect it to last this long actually with him. I definitely want to try the next size up. They do have like a larger one. Um, I definitely want to try it with Amadeus and see, and really put it to the test, but Grim's been gnawing at it literally nonstop, almost to the point where I think he's pretty sick of chewing on it, but he likes it so much that he's going to continue. Um, but I just think that it lasted so long, he's just kind of like, like me, like why is it lasting so long? All right, so next step. All right, so the next step is actually just soaking it. This is a little bowl of water. Um, soaking it in water for five minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and let that soak for about five minutes. Pop it in the microwave and it's supposed to like pop. So it's, yeah, like, and then like turn into a puff. So we'll see. He does want it back. I know he's sick of it, but he wants it back. Okay, so we waited our five minutes. We're gonna stick it on a plate and it says to microwave at for 45 seconds. Okay. Let's see what it does. They say it pops. I have no idea. Grim's already tired. He like walked away already. Oh God, it's making noise. It's sizzling in there. I feel like it was a little bit bigger than like what it was supposed to be, but sick and tired of waiting for him to chew it. Okay, let's see what it did. Oh my God. <laughs> what the heck? Ew, it's so weird. <laughs> that turned into that. That was like, like movie mat 
movie magic. How odd. It is like, it's not like popcorn, but it's like, I don't even know, like a pork rind, like a thick ass pork, like a thick pork rind. <laughs> that part's a little, that's so weird. Okay, so it's hot right now. We're gonna let it cool and then see what it's all about for him to eat. It's, it got bigger. Okay, hold please. Okay, it's time for him to try it. It's cooled off. I like kind of tried to break it in half, but not really. Like, didn't want to, maybe I don't have to, but here you go. It definitely doesn't smell like that yummy smoke stuff anymore. It smells like a foot, straight up cheese foot. So yeah, I guess it's a puffy tree, but it's not like it's like super soft or anything. It's still kind of like, but I know this is not going to take him three hours to get through. But I think if it's smaller, it would go like, they're just going to eat it more like a treat. <laughs> yeah, I'm right in your face, dude. I think it's supposed to be like that size. So, wow, we are, we have it. That's what the middle looks like. Yeah. It's like a giant really thick like to me it seems like a pork rind it reminds me of a pork rind so all right i'm gonna end the video here because that's it he's gonna finish this and then we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment let me know if you guys have tried this before and what you guys have dealt with with your dogs eating these if you've had good reviews from it or anything like that good experiences see you guys later